Many games have come and gone on the Roblox platform, and while most of them are beloved by the community, some have instead been hated. In this video, I'll be discussing games that have legacies of disasters, stealing, and so much worse. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel, but let's get right into the video. In 2008, Roblox staff devised an annual event to celebrate Easter. The first official Roblox egg hunt consisted of 11 eggs that would be dropped in every game on Roblox. People began to abuse it by creating egg funnels, but the staff slowly developed the features more and more. 11 years later came the 2019 egg hunt. As of then, it was a very anticipated event, and everyone wanted to achieve the rare egg prizes. The event consisted of 42 separate places, all popular or new games created by well-known developers, and it was all connected to a central hub owned by Roblox staff. However, one of the games specifically stood out more than others, due to its original idea, yet extremely bad like-to-dislike ratio. This game turned out to have been one of the most hated games in any event ever on Roblox, and this game is called Hacker. To understand more about how the game functions, it has a very straightforward system, where you follow quests and hack certain devices to complete the game. Now the game wasn't directly hated for one reason. Simply, the game was a mess. It feels rushed to play, and while the idea is good, many issues can arise while playing. First off, on lower end devices, the game was extremely laggy. Due to being rushed, they have a lack of many features a game needs to be playable on all devices. As well, the egg itself in the game was very simple. You basically had to move from point A to point B to achieve it, making it feel very repetitive and unfun to the majority of the player base. While the idea for the game was straightforward and seemed enjoyable, the execution was messy and ruined the game's performance in the long run. Nowadays, the game hasn't been updated in a long time, and it struggles to pull any players at all. However, that is the opposite of this next game, which pulls tens of thousands of players every day. But over time, it has slowly descended from the most popular game on the platform to one of the most hated. Five years ago, Alex Neutron was one of the most successful developers on the platform. He owned Meep City, which was the most popular game at the time, as well the first game on the platform to pass 1 billion visits. He also interned and worked directly with Roblox on many occasions. However, what is done in the dark often comes to the light. Slowly, his game's reputation lowered, as over time his lack of moderation and care for the community became more apparent. Eaters and Slenders populated the game more and more, and used the private parties feature to conduct TOS breaking acts on the game. YouTubers moved to expose Alex for this, creating many long exposed videos showing the dark actions occurring in the game. People were very mad as he wasn't doing any form of safety and moderation, and the stuff occurring in Meep City should not be happening on a kid's platform. Ignoring your problems never works, and finally Roblox listened to the community and the game was deleted for a short amount of time. After it was back up, the party's feature was removed, but this turns out not to be the end of the Alex Neutron story. Green Lego Cats, a popular news and drama creator, look deeply into Alex's past, finding some dark secrets that genuinely make me sick. Alex was not a normal developer. He had committed heinous acts with almost no repercussions. And while he tried to hide his past, his actions regarding minors and other users on the platform came to light. Long videos released on him and his reputation tanked. There's no form of defense for his actions, and as with Meep City, ignoring your problems will only make them worse. I personally will not be discussing the intricacies of his allegations. After watching this video, please feel free to look at the video on screen so you're able to understand what he has done and learn not to support him or Meep City any longer. In 2022, Doors became an overnight sensation, a high quality horror game with a good developer team and a replayable experience. The game pulled hundreds of thousands of players and changed the platform forever, but with every successful idea, there are bound to be copies. The development team, Relsoft, decided to capitalize on the success of Doors, creating what was expected to be one of the most enjoyable sequels to Doors. However, as people learned, the game was just a direct copy of Doors. They rebuilt the game from the ground up, putting in small changes, yet keeping the majority of the gameplay almost exactly the same. However, it felt much more clunky, and looking past the obviously stolen idea, the game just wasn't fun. After pulling thousands of players, the game dropped extremely, and the community began to hate the game. Videos began to release explaining the issues with the game, and slowly the developer's true intentions came to light. Instead of just wanting to create a quality, enjoyable experience, they only wanted money. The game dropped in players, and is now sitting around 19 concurrent users. The game is dead, and the developers have completely abandoned it. Sadly, while these games are failed or are dying now, there are many positive and quality experiences on the platform. These are just a few of the games on Roblox, and there's so much more enjoyable and fun games that developers actually care about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give this a like, have a great day, and take care.